Hi all and welcome back to a small health video. Today we are going to talk about battery health and charging of your iPads and how you can do some checking of uh, the battery and also some tips and tricks on how to fix some of the issues. First of all, you of course need to have a power adapter and for Apple devices you can have various versions of power adapters so make sure you use the correct one. For example, this is the classic uh, old uh, power adapter for an iPad. This is a newer version and they have a different uh, outtake uh, and powerfulness coming out of them. So make sure to use the correct one. For example, I see a lot of users use the iPhone uh, uh, power adapter for iPads and that is not the best case because it will take a whole lot longer to charge your iPad with an iPhone uh, at power adapter. So make sure to use the one that came with your iPad. Uh, another thing that I see often is the uh, power cables. Uh, sometimes they can be damaged in various ways. So make sure that your power cable is uh, not damaged anywhere uh, so that the power can get through to your iPad. So uh, make sure to check uh, those uh, things as well. And of course, when you are charging your iPad, if it is not charging as you expect it to, I would always recommend you to do a restart of your iPad. That is a good idea because then you make sure to clean the memory and make sure that the iPad has uh, a fresh start and will charge as it should be. So make sure to do a restart as well. And if you are not willing to do that, then uh, of course you can just close down all apps that is open. Then we uh, can have a look at some of the settings. Uh, and if you go into settings and go down to the battery section on an iPad in here, you can see uh, which apps that has been used uh, the last couple uh, uh, of hours. And you can also switch to the last 10 days and see what uh, apps has been using the most battery. And as you can see here, my kids love to play Roblox and that is taking a lot of power because it's graphics and things like that. So uh, have a look at that and uh, maybe you can get an idea why your battery is drowning so fast but uh, a lot of users also ask me but on an iphone you can actually see the battery health because sometimes the battery just get old and it needs to be replaced or something like that or you need to get a new ipad depending on how you look at this and uh, i just taking a screenshot here from an iphone and under the battery section you have the battery health and in here you have the maximum capacity on an iPhone and you will get an idea how the battery is doing. Uh, that is not possible on an iPad and uh, well that is a bit uh, unfortunate that uh, Apple has not made that uh, feature available um, on the iPad but uh, some on the web has of course made a program that can help you with this and it is this App that you can download for Windows and Mac and if I just gonna switch over to the correct home page in here and go into imazing.com and in here you will be able to download a program in here you will get a program that you can download on your computer and install and you can see you can actually get a free version that can help you uh, show you the battery health on your iPad. So I have of course uh, downloaded this app and I will just try and show you how to, uh, to use it. So uh, I have installed it here and if I try to open it in here, it is actually working on it. While it is opening up, I will show you that I have an old iPad here that I've been using for quite a, a couple of years. 
so that uh, iPad should uh, not have the best battery anymore. And uh, if it is possible to get all right, it is opening. And what uh, you should do when you get into uh, the program, you will need to connect your iPad. I will have a cable at the end and uh, that cable I will connect to my computer. And uh, here we are. Now you see, I have come in to my program, iMazing program, and it will uh, give you a small pop-up where you can buy a license or enter your license code if you have one, but you can also just continue with the trial up here. So I will just do that. And then you get into, uh, I'll just close this one down. All right. So now we are in the iMazing uh, program and then here you have a lot of different uh, features that you can use. Uh, but what we are looking for here is of course the battery and we have the, a small battery icon down here at the button. And if I click that one, you can see uh, some battery information and it, it actually also tells us a bit about the battery health and as you can see it is saying 85 percent uh, is the maximum it can charge to at the moment so my battery is actually on the edge because the common recommendation for battery health is actually 85 so if i go a bit below the 85 then i will actually be seeing uh, decreasing battery uh, performance and things like that so I'm actually on the edge and uh, that is of course uh, a bit uh, pity because then I have to replace my battery. If I uh, take my newer version of an iPad that I just showed you before and if I try to connect that one to the iMazing program just for the fun of it and see what the difference is. I will actually not be able to do that because I have this uh, cable, lightning cable, and that is actually not able to put that into my computer here. So uh, I will need an adapter or converter, and that is not what I have right here so uh, go to the imazing.com uh, homepage and download the program install it on your pc and try to connect and see your battery health on your device that was all for me today i hope that uh, it will help you get an insight to your battery health and also how to change uh, some of the settings and what is actually the most common Problem is that sometimes you just need to restart your iPad and use the correct charger and actually then you will be charging as expected. Hope that uh, you could uh, get some uh, good ideas and tips and tricks out of this video. If you have any questions, put it in the comments section and uh, give me a like or a subscribe. I really appreciate that. Thanks for now and see you soon.